A woman who broke her leg while hiking was rescued by a trio of strapping young good humans who carried her all the way down the mountain on their backs. 79-year-old Ursula Bannister had made the trek to High Rock Lookout, a viewpoint near Ashford in Washington, many times. She had a tradition of going up there to where she had scattered her mother's ashes 23 years ago. But on this occasion, she made it up to the top to leave some flowers, but on the way down, down, she took a misstep and a hard fall, which resulted in a very badly broken foot. She cried out for help, and before long, a group of three young hikers came to her rescue. Troy May was hiking up to the lookout that day with his fiance and friend Leighton Allen. They called 911, and a search and rescue team informed them that they'd be there in five hours, discouraging everyone. Ursula was in a lot of pain, and no one had any painkillers or anything on them to help her with the pain. So that's when 20-year-old Troy May, an Air Force airman, took charge and began carrying her down the mountain. I knew I was capable of carrying her down, Troy told the Washington Post. I really didn't make much of a decision. I just knew I needed to carry her down if I could. Lifting her gently onto his back, he began the slow, careful journey downhill, hiking three quarters of a 1.8 mile that remained on Ursula's journey, while Leighton took care of the home stretch. On the way, they passed more good humans. Occupational therapist Emily O'Brien, who led Ursula through some breathing exercises, and physical therapist Tim Mayer, who splinted her leg. On the way down the mountain, they talked to Ursula and got to know each other. Once they made it down the trail, Leighton quickly took Ursula to the hospital where doctors told her that she had indeed had a very badly broken foot. But the doctors were also impressed with the splint and complimented it, saying that it could have been much worse if she hadn't received that care. Ursula has received the much needed treatment for her injury and on the long road to recovery. But her rescuers were sure to come and visit her, including Troy May, who won the Air Force Medal for his efforts. I was just overwhelmed with gratitude that these people literally came out of the woods to help me. And they were totally unselfish and kind, Ursula said, adding that the friendship she gained in Troy and the others was worth more than the pain and discomfort. This story shows us that there is a bright spot in every story, and sometimes lifelong friendships are made through unexpected circumstances, especially very painful ones. This is Nina Infinity with your daily dose of infinite hope.